All right, so we're back on Forza Horizon 5. Um, picking off from the last video. Um, I'm kind of going to like pick up from the last video because I don't want that video to be like too long or any of these videos to be too long. So I kind of want to limit. Ooh, God. Dang. Why was I hit just now? I kind of want to limit how long those videos, these videos are because I don't want them going like too long because we're technically going to be doing a lot of, uh, opening intro or like a lot of tutorial in this game before we actually get into the real uh, meat and potatoes here and start playing the game the way we want to the way I want to ooh, ooh, ooh. but yeah yeah it's um gonna be pretty cool actually god anyways let's uh get through this uh showcase event the first showcase event which I think is gonna be extremely similar to the uh showcase event that we already that we just did racing the plane so we're probably gonna be racing this plane again oh just now which I have seen the um the thing for this and we're gonna be racing against dirt bikes and wow the Ford escort all right, pretty cool. So it's gonna be similar to the uh, what was it, the showcase sure event in Four is a Rising Four. Oh, if you guys are curious, what my graphics or how I'm running them right now, uh, the graphics, all my graphics are on high, no ultra or extreme or anything. They're all on high. So um, yeah, that's technically what I'm dealing with right now. All right, let's start this showcase event. Ford Escort. So, again, the handling in this game is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I am noticing a bunch of uh, skips and jumps, which I think might actually have something to do with um, my ramp. I believe, yeah, I do believe it has something to do with my RAM because um, GPU seems to be doing all right, and CPU is doing fantastic. Oh shoot! God, I can't wait for the day when uh, we'll actually be able to drive motorcycles in um, Forza Horizon 5 or Forza in general, if that ever does happen. I don't think it ever will, but still, just thinking about it could be a little bit cool. But yeah, this is very similar to the first uh, showcase event in Forza Horizon 5. Or Forza Horizon 4. Uh, did we lose a biker? Oop. Yes, yes we did. We did lose a biker just now. Alright, here we go. Yo, this man just jumped off of the bike. He is flying with us right now. That is incredible. Bro, can you imagine doing this in real life? Dude. That is awesome. That is so freaking awesome. Holy shit. But like seriously though, can you imagine actually like doing something like that? In real life, like racing against like a paraglider in a car? Oh my god, that is awesome. That is so awesome. Like in the showcase event though. First showcase event is pretty cool. Pretty lit. Nice. Already got our first car. Pretty cool. And already got our XP points and everything. So, uh, I, I noticed the game is kind of like not allowing me to like explore. It's like, mm, kind of like forcing me or, uh, yeah, it's kind of like forcing me to go to certain places. Alright, let's see what we can see. Around this area, what's a, what's a over here? Looks like a ooh, kind of looks like a racetrack. Okay, ooh, a slider in there. This kind of looks like a racetrack. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, this is definitely a racetrack with, with the uh, the pit area over here, which we definitely won't be using that, but still, it's pretty cool. No lie, like the festival area they got over here looks pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's already taking us. Both in need of a talented driver. Care to take a look? 
My friend Carmen is looking to photograph some storms in the area, and she's asked for a driver with strong off-road skills. And Alejandra's requested a driver to help her search for a long-lost Vocho. With a bit of time before the next big event, who should we contact first? Uh, actually, believe it or not, I want to go over to the sandstorm. Just going to uh, kind of just continue through all this con all this tutorial, and uh, hopefully we can start getting to the main game again. Doesn't really bother me that much since honestly we won't be seeing any Tasha rats probably within probably until like a month or something like that. Very nice. And we're driving the Rubicon. Love this car in Forza Horizon 4. Oh, we're driving in. Let's see uh, what cockpit view looks like. Actually, doesn't look that bad. Okay, so. All right. Some people believe mysterious things happen in storms like these. <laughs> There's even a story of an explorer who got lost in a storm and only found her way out when she found a huge statue near the coast. It's just a legend, of course, but want to see if we can find it? I'll take any excuse to drive this car through the heart of a storm. Wow. Okay, so I might be I might have been wrong about the sandstorm being similar to like the uh, the snow in Forza Horizon 4. It's actually not that bad, believe it or not. Yeah, is that yeah, believe it or not, yeah, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Does it really want us to follow the uh uh oh we gotta get the photo out. Alright. I was gonna say does it really want us to go to this exact location? Alright, so uh, we're going to Actually, first of all, fix my car, and uh, second of all, take this picture um, of this Mayan-looking temple or statue. Very nice. Very similar to the uh, the ones we used to have the uh, photo challenges in Forza Horizon Four. Nice. There our first little mission there. We've kicked off a whole bunch of new events, so it's time for you to get out there and show us what a superstar can do. Everything you do earns you accolades. Think of them as mini challenges that cover races, stunts, exploration, everything. If you earn enough accolades, we'll be able to expand and kick off the next chapter of the Horizon Adventure. So, what do you want to do first? I'd like to go to my garage and, uh, Check out what type of cars we got, even though we don't have a lot of credits, unfortunately. So, we are probably going to do some of these races. Um, let's see, I think I'll try to squeeze at least one race out before I end this part of the video, and then we can pick up on the next video. Because, again, tutorial. So, I kind of want to do some of the cross country or off roading. You know, yeah, I kind of want to do some of that. Okay, so wait, wait. Um, Forza, Forza Loyalty Rewards, what's this? Um, Forza Horizon 4, the 2018 McLaren Senna, the Forza Motorsport 7, Porsche 2018, Porsche 911, GT2 RS, and then we have the Forza Horizon 3, 2016 Lamborghini Centenario. LP7704 So Oh Oh, I get it. So okay, okay, okay. So the loyalty Oh, this is similar um to uh Need for Speed. So um basically from what it seems they get they've given us all the cover cars for all the Forzas we played. So um unfortunately I've only played up to uh Forza Horizon 3. Um I did not get the honor to play Forza 1 or 2, uh, did not have an Xbox back then. I was able to get Forza Horizon 3 before they uh, stopped selling it on the store. Um, and interestingly enough, I never played Forza Horizon or Forza Motorsport 7, but it gave me the 
car anyway. It must have something to do with me downloading the demo, which to this day never worked for me. So I don't know why it gave it to me, but I'll take it. I'm not complaining. I'll take it. And then, of course, the McLaren Senna from Forza Horizon 4, which is also the cover car. Pretty neat. I think there were two cover cars in that picture. I don't know. I don't remember, but that's pretty cool. So, yeah, if you uh, played any of the older Forza Horizons or any of the older Forza games in general, um, you get some loyalty rewards, some uh, cover cars for free. It's really kind of cool to get the, uh, the Lamborghini uh, Centenario, though. That one and the McLaren. Don't really care that much for the Porsche, though. So, I think we are now in online mode neat okay wait wait first first things first okay wait wait okay cool um first things first we gotta change the difficulty oh my gosh where is the automatic transmission get rid of that thank you jeez yeah, it might even go clutch i don't know <laughs> no let's just go um let's just go just manual for right now all i know is that the real like um Oh boy, yep, there there goes the controller again. Alright, look at that right there. That's why I call manual transmission right there. Alright. So, what else can we do in this game? Alright, so what we're doing is a race. So, let's drive over to that. So, it's kind of cool to actually be driving one of these in Forza Horizon 5. Since um, I actually have a friend who actually owns a Supra. It's really cool. Really cool. I haven't sat in it yet, and I haven't been been driven in it yet. But um, I have to remember that I want to like get a ride in it. I don't think I'd be a. Uh, I don't think I would trust myself to drive it if he allowed me to drive it. But still, though, it's kind of cool. But overall, though, this game like the feeling, it feels good. It feels real good. I'm really excited to see what is to come for this game. When I first heard about this game taking place in Mexico, I was a little bit worried. I was kind of concerned. Because the first thing that came to my mind was, okay, what does Mexico have to offer to the car scene, you know? Like, are there Mexican-made vehicles? You know, that's really the kind of thing I was looking at here. I guess that's why a lot of people were trying to go for uh, Japan. Because with Japan, you know, there's a lot of cars that were made over in Japan. You know, the car culture is so big and heavy over there compared to even places like Mexico, which is decent, yes, I'll admit, it's decent, but uh, still though, like, nothing can really match Japan, or even the American car culture, or, eh, even the European car culture. European car culture is pretty cool. But yeah, you know, I was just kind of worried, you know, that when we got to Mexico, you know, besides landscape and stuff like that, there wouldn't be, like, anything that's, like, eye-popping or anything when it comes to like the cars itself. I mean, I guess like we have the GR Supra in here right now, but uh, you know, they're just I don't know, it's hard to explain. If you get why I mean, you get why I mean, but you know, a lot of cool cars, a lot of really awesome and cool cars. We're going to go with the Yeah, we're probably going to go with the Bronco here. Ooh, we got the OG Bronco over there. Looking nice. All right, all right. Here we go. First race, and now I gotta remember. I'm actually, uh, I actually have the manual transmission on, so I actually have to shift now. Which I kind of like that. But whoa, what is that? Yo, look at this. Yo, is that F three fifty or that F four fifty? I don't know my American trucks that well, but oh my god. That is a big boy. Look at that. That's a, that's a full-on farm truck right there. Those things even go over like 90 miles per hour. I mean, where I live, I, you see a lot of those type of trucks, but jeez Louise, I never actually expected to see that in Forza. That's crazy. But then again, I, I guess I shouldn't be I shouldn't be expecting less from Forza. I mean, I mean what we've had giant trucks, limousines. So I guess that really shouldn't be that surprising, but it is kind of strange to see that though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, all right, keep it going, keep it going. Well, they don't seem to be catching up anytime soon, so even if I do crash, 
they're definitely definitely not catching up at least not for a while anyway especially that F450 which uh, we gotta drive that I'm not a truck person but I kinda wanna drive that now okay get around here but there's just so many parts of the map that I really want to explore <laughs> it's like I, I can't explore them all in one video yeah, so far this game is good this game is real good if you have not purchased this yet I highly advise purchasing this game right now and if you can get the premium edition you can get this game early alright that's how I'm playing this game like like what almost like four or five days earlier than um, when it releases let's do some cockpit mode here Oh, this truck is nice though. I admit though, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of like American cars, but uh, Ford, they've been kind of reinventing themselves lately. So uh, this uh, this Bronco is one of that example. Uh, I will admit though, the the SUV Mustang was kind of not the best way to go in my opinion. But this Bronco, however, they did get this right. They definitely, definitely got the Bronco right. But anyways, yeah, the handling, off-roading handling is not bad. I get uh, it has a very similar, like, um, how you say, has a very similar, like, grippy handling as it has on the road. It's all very grippy. The handling is, it feels great, though. It feels pretty good. I am going to, like, kind of, like, get used to it just a bit. Just a bit. The turning radius is horrible. Good God. Alright. Turn here. I gotta use the brake for this thing a lot. I'm sure once we upgrade it, it'll be a little bit faster and much easier. No, I just realized this too. This is the uh, new finishing screen. Very interesting. But yes, did our first official race in the Forza Horizon 5. Loving this game. Loving it a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos on my channel of this game. I do plan on doing way, way, way more Forza Horizon videos soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Hey. Let's look at this for a second. The outdoors. Ooh, look at that glare. It's like, it's like glare on the screen. That's kind of cool. Wait, does it do it for the back too? Okay, yeah, it doesn't do it for the back, but I can tell like Oh, that's awesome. Look at the interior here. Oh man, I wish that um I wish that screen in there kinda of showed the map. It's pretty cool, but the the dynamic weather. Look at this though. That is awesome. You could see all the stars in the sky. I was just saying how we don't really get this like the starry view, like like the starry sky and stuff like that in uh Forza Horizon four. I mean, unless you uh, do the Fortune Island uh, expansion, then you could see stuff like this, but it is actually real cool, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this game. It's a real big refresh from Forza Horizon 4, even a big refresh from Forza Horizon 3, surprisingly enough. I mean, it does look similar in certain ways, but obviously this is the better game, so... Yeah, I'm really actually enjoying this game. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, I'm going to stop right here and then we can continue off from the next video. Again, like I said, I don't want these videos to uh, last too long. Um, at least not over the 20 minute mark. So yeah, I'm going to end the video right here. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this from me. That's all the time I have for today in this video. And I hope to see you guys in my next one.